Welcome to the third part. And in third part, we're going to discuss about uh, in the very long run. Uh, because we know that in the very long run, when we are saying in the very long run, it means that we are saying the technology is also changing. And we observe from the last 20, 30 years that many things are changing so swiftly uh, from the technological point of view, like uh, the banking system, uh, the e-commerce the e and all these things uh, revolutionize the world. Like now the world is very different uh, if we compare it with the 30 years ago or with the 40 years ago. Uh, so these are the things uh, when uh, the uh, innovation takes place or uh, a new way of doing uh, things change, uh, introduced. Uh, so the productivity is also going to change. So that's the main idea we're going to discuss in part three. Uh, let's share with you the uh, PowerPoint and... So again, the producers in the long run, and this is the last portion of this topic. Uh, in the long run, firms are producing on the uh, long run average total cost curves. That's the way that we discuss in part two. Uh, but in a very long run, means uh, about a 50 years or a 40 years or a century, uh, uh, there are changes in the available techniques and resources. So resources are changing, techniques are changing, uh, the way the human uh interact with the machines are changing so these changes will shift the long run average total cost curve up or down so in most of the cases we see that new business models new businesses way of doing business uh that's so technological uh, technological change in any uh in any change is a available technique of production so to measure the extent of a technological change economists use the notion of productivity and we see uh, in uh, in general that many countries are uh, at different levels of economic development. Some are advancedly uh, advanced countries, some are uh, in middle, and some are at the lower end. Uh, <clears throat> why they are different? The one of the reasons that we can explain is the level of productivity. And why the productivity level is different? Because the way that they are doing is different. For example, like we are producing wheat. Uh, in in uh, our country and the output is very high because we are using the latest more, uh, mechanism through which we can grow wheat using a lot of machines. Uh, but somewhere in the world still the people are using uh, the animal power or the human power to produce wheat and their output is less. So we can compare like output per acre or output per person uh, so there you see very low figures because they are using a lot of humans uh, or labor uh, and they are, uh, uh, their output per acre is low as compared to uh, in our country. So this is the way that productivity is measured. Now, uh, how this uh, technological change takes place. Uh, so there are three aspects through which we can say uh, like new techniques that way that change the whole system of doing business or we gradually improve the uh, process of doing business or uh, doing uh, production uh, and uh, with the introduction of our new products. Uh, but we also see that technological change is an endogenous from inside, from the business uh, to the economic system rather than something that occurs for unknown reasons. So we see uh, like when someone uh, uh, invented the internet. Uh, so at that point, there is no idea that we can use it for businesses. Uh, but now we are using all over the business. So that's the way that we uh, use. Mm -hmm. Uh, faced with an increase in the price of an input, and this is also uh, very re relevant to the uh, productivity. Uh, for example, uh, just to make it very clear to everyone, like if you look at a car, car which was made in around 50 years ago or 20 years ago, so most of the car, if you analyze, uh, was made up of steel, iron, and other metals, like metal structure, very heavy. But now if you look at the cars, uh, the most of the uh, structure uh, is uh, still steel, but a lot of... Uh, uh, glass, fiberglass, plastic, and all these things. 
for why we change it because steel one thing is that steel is expensive so we replace it with the uh, 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 less uh, expensive material so that's a way that uh, technology make it possible that we can produce something which is strong enough that we can use it for car as well as it's cheaper and it's lighter and weight. So there's a technical reason as well, like it becomes more efficient when the weight is light. Uh, but the uh, the material change is also because of the uh, technology and efficiency. So that's the way. Uh, and we also see that uh, that uh, the innovation in it are, are subject to great uncertainties that are difficult to estimate and run. But we cannot uh, predict uh, the innovations and uh, the uh, new uh, ideas uh, in advance because something invented and then we start using that uh, in different aspects and then it becomes the part of that uh, business model. So that's the way that we have to, uh, it's very hard for them to protect. Uh, so they must produce large profits, then they uh, do succeed to induce in inventing. Nowadays, like uh, space uh, traveling or uh, uh, visit to the uh, space uh, is uh, just in a very, uh, 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 in a stage of just doing experiment. Uh, but uh, later on, it, it's going to be uh, become the part of the people to visit uh, space. That's, that's, that's possible. So it's a technological change, make it possible. So when do succeed to induce inventing firms to incur the cost of pushing into unknown? Uh, the significance of productivity. Now, uh, this is the last uh, thing which we want to discuss in this chapter is uh, productivity. Uh, so uh, in uh, uh, a century ago, uh, there was a very famous uh, economist or a philosopher, we call them as a Thomas Malthus. Uh, he introduced uh, an idea that as the population of the uh, world is increasing so rapidly, uh, so uh, he, he predicted at that time uh, that time and again, um, often uh, the uh, the droughts or famine and or the uh, these natural calamities is going to occur so that uh, by nature uh, control the population within the range uh, that we can uh, feed them uh, because uh, he's of the opinion that the food production is not increasing but the human population is increasing so how they we can able to feed that uh, uh, population uh, but in the long run what happened that uh, Malta's uh, theory or uh, prediction uh, failed uh, because this uh, the Malta has presented a dismal uh, uh, prediction about the future uh, that uh, the people is going to be uh, died because of hunger. Uh, but why they are failed, the reason is that because of innovation and scientific uh, uh, intervention, the population growth rate comes down. Comes down. Preventive, you know that uh, family planning and uh, preventive measures and all these things invented. So that's one reason. And the second reason is that technological advancement increase our production many times. Uh, uh, means that the productivity increase in many times. And by this way, we are able that even the population increased to so much like 7 billion uh, 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 and uh, we are able to feed them all uh, a good uh, food. Uh, so this is the way that uh, Malta's theory uh, was uh, uh, failed. Uh, the reason is uh, that at that time, Malta's ignored the fact that technological advancement, is it possible to change the scenario that the population growth rate go down and the production uh, productivity increases. So this chart is a reflection of uh, uh, the uh, Canadian labor productivity over a period of around uh, around 100 years, uh, 94 years. And we see that there is, uh, uh, and we're taking the 1926 as a base year, and we see that uh, it's going to be uh, a base year means 100, and now uh, index of output, and we reach at uh, 450, around 450 or, or 440. Uh, so it's uh, four. Uh, we see that four times increase or uh, five times increase in the productivity over the period of five, uh, uh, almost 100 years. So this is all what we want to share about uh, uh, perspective of uh, uh, producers in the long run. Uh, I hope you like this and uh, I appreciate if you subscribe my channel and uh, press the like button. Thank you very much.